guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Shalota. If you're new here in this video, I'm going to share with you how I painted this under the water seascape. Now I'm going to share this in two parts so that you can follow along and create an under the sea landscape. I didn't add any fish or any corals or starfish or whatnot that you could add to this space. I wanted to keep it quite simple. So if you want to add anything of that, you go ahead. The ones that took part in my art class painted both clownfish and corals and all sorts of things. So thank you to those of you who took part of my online Zoom classes, which I run globally now. And Zoom classes online are available and there is a link below or you can contact me to ask more if that is of interest. Let's jump straight into how I painted this. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, let's jump straight into the video and thank you so much for being here and painting along with me. So I'm mixing these three colors. Into this yellow I'm adding a tiny bit of red. Now it's gonna turn orange. And then I'm adding quite a lot of white. Like this. And then I'm going to make the bottom of the sea. So the bottom of the sea, I'm going to make a line over here. So here's how far the sand will go. And then I'm covering this whole part with this peachy kind of sand color. over here. And you can use a little bit bigger brush to move it all over your paper. If you want you can make these small circle movements with your brush to blend in the color so you don't have those stripes from the brush. And it does enough to all be exactly the same peach color that makes it look a bit more natural. Here, a line just above the bottom of the sea, and I'm blending it in slowly like this. This might even be a little bit dark, so I'm adding more white to it. So I'm blending it in here on the top of the sand. And then we're gonna have it light again on the top from roughly around here. And then I'll make it dark blue in the middle to make it like the background far away. This over here, this light will be the edge of the water. Because this is so far away, it's darker here in the middle. Kind of make it look like distance. And again, if you want to blend in the color and not get those stripes from the, the lines from the brush, you make circle movements with the brush like this. Back and forth. And blend it in like this. And use a bigger brush for the blending in to not get those lines from the brush. Just the lighter blue, I'm blending it in with a little bit of water and I'll add some white to it as well to make it mix in a little bit towards the top. Then I'm adding a bit of white again to the dark blue here and adding a little bit of blend to it like this and slowly moves over to lighter blue. I'll 
I'll make this line a bit stronger down here. Make a straight, fairly straight line for when the sand ends and where the water begins. I think when you paint this kind of surfaces, do a really gentle touch with the brush on the water to spread it really nicely. You don't need to press very hard, just a gentle little touch. The white line just here. So to separate the sea from the sky, we'll make a white line here on the top. This is sort of the top of the sea. Here's the edge of the water, the bottom of the sea, and all the way up here is the sky. Now I think I'm gonna make my sky a little bit pinkish to make a bigger contrast between the sky and the water. So I'm making a line of pink here. So that's the horizon. Let's see, maybe some yellow towards the top. And again, blend it in. Long strikes from side to side. You see, in this painting, this part is the sky. This is the top of the water, under the water, and then the bottom of the sea.
The paints that I used in this artwork is this brand, Winsor & Newton. And there is a link in the description below if you're looking for new paints. I do recommend them. They're quite thick and also very vibrant in color. So thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. In the next part, I will show you how I made the final details. So you will see that coming up very, very soon. Thank you for staying with me. If you're new here, do hit the subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Ha det bra!